Welcome to Getting Started with Bubble for Native Mobile. I'm Matt Neri, and my goal with this course is to equip you with the skills and the confidence to be able to bring your unique idea to life. And if you don't have an idea yet, don't stress. All you need to get started is a Bubble account. If you do have an app idea, you can use this course as a jumping off point as you build your app alongside the course. Together, we'll be building a complete mobile app from scratch all the way to deployment. And along the way, you'll be learning everything you need to know for building mobile apps with Bubble. So what are we gonna build? This is Wanderlog. It's an app for users to create a digital diary of their travel adventures. Users can add entries with images, text, even a location. They can make their trips public or private, view their trips on a map, and even summarize their entire trip using AI. As we build this, we're gonna be learning about all of the tools that Bubble gives us for building mobile apps, like the design canvas for creating a beautiful interface, or the database so we can store user data, workflows and logic so we can make our app do stuff, like navigate between different views, or even connect to external services like OpenAI. And of course, the tools for deploying your app to the app stores so that your end users can download your app on their device. First, we're gonna start with the fundamentals, how we design an interface, save data in the database, and display that data back out to your users. Next, we'll understand how we create a native feeling user experience, or UX. Next, we'll deepen our understanding of the invisible currency of our app, data. After that, we'll learn how we can access resources on our end user's device, like their location or camera. Now, at the time of recording, Bubble Mobile is in beta, but we can access our user's location, camera, and photo library with more resources coming in future. In section five, we'll be learning about your app's security and how to manage the running costs for your app. Then, in section six, we'll get our app ready for deployment by doing things like adding terms and conditions and allowing our users to reset their password. And then finally, in section seven, we'll learn how we deploy our app to the app stores and how we continue making updates to our app after it's been deployed. So, are you ready to build? Let's get started. Thank you.